Hope everyone is ready. Let's get started. Now, this one takes me back to my childhood. Known to many British TV viewers as Desmond's, we have actor Norman Beaton, born in what was called British Guyana in 1934. Norman started out as a teacher, going on to become a headmaster, but all the while developing and maintaining his love for the arts, in particular Shakespeare. Another passion of his was his love of Calypso, a style of Afro-Caribbean music that originated in Trinidad and Tobago during the early to mid 19th century. Norman would form the group The Four Bs and in 1955 they reached the top of the Trinidad and Tobago hit parade with the song Come Back Marvina. A few years went by and Norman would travel and settle in the UK. He gained a teaching position becoming the first ever black teacher in Liverpool. Around this time with a young family to support, Beaton began playing guitar in local clubs to earn some extra money. Never forgetting his passion for the arts, Beaton wrote and composed the musical drama Jack of Spades. The plot focused on the troubled and controversial relationship between a black man and white woman. The musical however drew crowds and became a general success, motivating him to move to Bristol where he would start working as a composer and actor. What would follow was a steady stream of stage roles throughout the decade, before eventually making his TV debut in 1967. Sadly, his early television roles were generally of the stereotypical variety handed out to black actors of those days, such as Bosco conductors and criminals. Outside of television, his stage career was reaching new heights, notably his performance as Ariel in John Miller's 97 production of The Tempest, a play by William Shakespeare. His increasingly impressive work on stage and TV soon led to the big screen, with supporting roles as the preacher in Horace Ove's 1976 drama Pressure, the first UK feature by a black director which ultimately led to him being in more mainstream roles such as Sam Foster in LWT for Fosters, noted as the first black-led UK sitcom. His next film appearance would see Beaton playing a wily con artist, David King, in an Anthony Simmons title, Black Joe. Beaton would go on to explore further television territory, starring in the BBC drama Empire Road, recognised as the first black soap opera playing the role of a father and community leader, Everton Bennett. On stage, he would take on the biopic role as Haitian revolutionary leader Toussaint Louverture in the Riverside Studio stage adaptation of the CLR James book The Black Jacobins, one of his more serious toned roles but one which served to draw new audience to the theatre and proved a success for him. Hollywood would come knocking in the late 1980s and Beaton would star opposite Denzel Washington and Robert Townsend as a Jamaican governor in the crime thriller The Mighty Quinn. He would also make an appearance on the hugely popular Cosby show. Back in the UK, he was about to embark on what would be his most successful and notable role in Channel 4's hit sitcom Desmond's. Set in a Peckham barbershop, Desmond's was the first sitcom to be set mainly in the workplace. The show ran for five years and seven series and was praised as a phenomenal achievement in terms of black British representation on primetime television, providing an insight into the black family life whose characters had aspirations. The character of Desmond worked with an aim to one day return to Guyana. His son Michael wanted to own his own branch of a bank. Gloria, his daughter, aspiring to get a job in fashion and Sean his son going on to university. Additionally, one of the regulars in the barbershop was Matthew, a well-educated lifetime student from the Gambia. The show creators stated it was important that a character like Matthew was shown on screens as many African characters in black shows in those days were often made fun of for their names or for their food. Sadly, in 1994, during a return visit to his native Guyana, Norman Beaton collapsed and died at just 60 years old. However, he would not be forgotten and his mark was forever imprinted in the minds of those watching his rise growing up. His commitment to education and development of young performance saw BBC Radio 4 establish the Norman Beaton Fellowship, providing training and opportunities for new actors in the field of drama. You can catch the six-part series of Desmond's now on Netflix, and I'd recommend anyone who hasn't seen it before to go check it out. I started watching it again recently. It feels like I'm watching it for the first time. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and come back tomorrow for the next part in our series. Please subscribe to be in the know when the video drops and in the meantime you can check out one of our other videos.